What's up, YouTube? What's up, fellas? Whoever's out there, it's your man, Yo PJD. I'm back again with another video. Hopefully, this mount will stay. I think it's gonna give me some trouble. I might gotta switch it up. I don't think it wanna cooperate. But man, this video is gonna get real. I got two channels on YouTube. I'm gonna just keep it a buck this year, 2024. My main channel is more where I keep it, you know, family style, vlog style, fitness, just life, me and my son. But this channel right here, this is for Yo PJD Reacts. And this one, I'm gonna just keep it 1000, keep it all the way real. A lot of my experience and things I feel like men should know that is a little bit more unsettling or unpopular, but just based on experience and what I perceive to be as facts from what I, like I said, what I've experienced. Let me switch up this angle, y'all. All right, I'm back. We got another angle. We're gonna try this, man. So back to what I was saying, man, 2024, I'm gonna just keep it all the way real with y'all, man. It need to be out there. Men need to know this type stuff, man. So today's first topic, I wanna talk about, as a man, you always gotta keep your mind right, man. And it's hard. I'm not saying it's easy. Some days, the energy is going to be low. Your mental is going to be tested. But it's important to have a couple things in place when those things do happen, those days do come, so that you can bounce back from it, so you can power through it. Because at the end of the day, you got to keep going. You got to push through. How you wake up and start your day, really the night before, how you go to bed and prepare for the next day ahead, it can really set you up for success. And being a successful man is about doing all the things and those habits. Because all of us don't get the luxury of having parents that just set us up for success, right? Our parents, most of the time, I would say 99% of the time are just doing the best they can. Whether they do right by you, do right by whoever, they all just doing the best they can. Sometimes it ain't what you need, what you want, you wish they would've did different things, but it's no blueprint for this. And the first time you have a kid, it's your first kid. You don't have no experience. You're just trying to figure it out. You're, you're not only trying to balance your life, <laughs> you're trying to balance somebody else's life too and make sure they have everything they need. It's a lot, it's a lot. Especially when you're young. Shoot, I'm, I'm old and it's, and it's still a lot. So it really don't matter, man. It's just, it's a lot of responsibility if you take it seriously. And some people can manage it better than others. And so that's why I say everybody's just doing the best they can. Once you come to grips with that, I, I will still agree with mm -hmm. the, the thought that everybody does not need to have kids because of the time commitment and the love and sacrifice you have to make, the responsibility and if it's one thing kids need is love, but I'm getting on a whole nother subject. That's for the other channel. Men, you gotta realize having your mind right sets you up for success every day. You gotta realize that expecting things to happen, expecting that you deserve things, nah. You only deserve what you work for, what you earn, man. Stop thinking that the world owes you love. If you're fortunate, You'll have family members, especially a mother and a father that love you and understand that love might look different the way it comes from both of them. But hopefully you have those two people in your corner, at least at least one of them. If not some family member, a grandmother, a sister, a cousin, somebody in your corner. But that's, that's it. That's all you can really count on in the beginning, at the end of the day. Hopefully you're a good enough person and you, and you interact with good enough people that you develop friendships and relationships that can lead to positive support when you need it, but you gotta have your mind together. You gotta have your mind together. And the earlier you get this ingrained in your system as a man, the better off you will be. Being mentally tough. That's why going to the gym is so important because it teaches you to, it teaches you that your body will break down your mind will tell you that your body is breaking down faster, but if you, you still have more in the tank, 
And then you learn that the gym is so mental. Like if you, especially like for heavy weights, if you're like a power lifter or heavy lifter, after you, I remember the first time, I remember when I first started lifting weights, I couldn't bench 100 pounds. I couldn't do a dip or pull up in college. I got out of college, I hit those benchmarks, cool. And then I thought I was doing something, but then I got into, when I moved to Atlanta, it was way more people in the fitness than it was in DC. And it was like a lifestyle, it was a community of people. And you work out with other guys around your age that are, you know, top tier athletes. I remember working out with these guys and, you know, I had a decent physique for somebody not on steroids or something, but I didn't have really good strength. I, I just kind of trained the only way I knew and what I learned from college, but there's so many other styles of training and, and the mental part that comes with it when you're trying to get stronger and develop as a man. So I remember the first time I tried to squat, I could barely squat 225. I remember the first time I went to deadlift, I couldn't pull 225. I remember throwing my back out. But then I remember just figuring it out. I remember I remember seeing my brother, my little brother pull 405 and it just shocked me. And after that I said, All right, I gotta get my stuff together. And I just made it a point to commit to like learning different lifts and techniques. And then I remember the first day I pulled 500 pounds off the ground. And after that, I was like, there's no way somebody can tell me that I can't do this now, because I've done it. I remember the first time I did 315 on the bench. It's like, after you do it once in your mind, you know you can do it. And so I might be out of shape. As long as I'm not hurt, I know I can go in the gym and get to a point where I can do that again. And so the same thing goes to like your mind, the, the analogy is once you've been through stuff and like you, you've made it through the other side, like you condition your mind to know that like hard times are gonna come, but you can get through it, you know? But you gotta keep your mind sharp. Just like you can't get hurt in the gym and expect to do those things. You can't expect to be able to do, get through things in your mind or in life, if your mind isn't sharp. So you gotta set yourself up for success. That, mean, that might mean cutting back on the alcohol, man. Alcohol messes with your emotions and your hormones. You might end up just having pity parties and feeling sad for yourself, like drinking more water. Like we all start off in the new year trying to drink more water, but you gotta stay committed, man. You gotta stay committed. Like discipline as a man is so important. Motivation, motivation is for women, man. No disrespect, but. Motivation ain't it. Discipline is doing the things you don't want to do like you want to do them, basically, man. No excuses. And it's different, you know? It's just determination. It's, it's gut. It's grit. It's what, it's what testosterone is for. Like, come on, man. Men got to be men again. And sometimes, you know, you have those hard days and that's why it's so important. Like I said, you have a couple people in your circle that motivate you, whether it be a parent, whether it be an OG. Having quality OGs is, for a man, is one of the biggest blessings. I think having quality OGs that you could go to from different walks of life, whether it be the street life, whether it be uh, the blue collar side, whether it be uh, the, the corporate world, gym just having diverse ogs makes a big difference having guys at your level or on your level that's doing better than you and then some that you help pull up is important and then of course having younger guys that you can help too is so important for men because we got to help each other we can't in 2024 we can't get caught up listening to what women want so much anymore we can't get caught up in them calling men sassy and and expecting all these lavish dates when you're just trying to get the norm and they talking to 50 million men in their DMs and they don't really care and they, they don't value men. They think the only value to men is money and that's trash, man. That's sad because when you really have money and you and you making money to a certain extent, you, unless you're just a cheapo or you're so, you know, a lot of guys, you don't care about money as much. So that leads you to not care about these women as much and they don't realize that. like. You know, when you really care about a woman, of course you'll give her all your money, but you gotta think about it. If she's a woman that'll take all your money or only wants you for your money, then 
what do you have? There's no value there. Like you putting your value in the woman that don't care about you. So many stories about these women cheating on men. I, I remember just seeing yesterday, Steve Nash's wife, <laughs> the great Steve Nash basketball player, divorced his wife the day after she had a baby because the baby came out black. You know Steve Nash, he white. His wife was white, Spanish. And then <laughs> the, the guy on his team that he thought <laughs> was the father wasn't even the father. She was messing with a whole nother other guy on the team. He had all the money in the world, right? He a high value dude. Money don't mean that, man. It helps. It helps you enjoy aspects of life, but it's not, it does not make you value any more, any less. It does not make you any more or less of a man. Don't let women tell you that, man. Now you need to work and earn money, especially if you have kids, so you can take care of them and give them opportunities and experiences. But it, that don't even mean like you should try to make them so comfortable that they don't understand hard times and struggles and how to overcome adversity. Cause I think I see that, I've seen that a lot, man. You see a lot of kids that soft. And unfortunately when hard times come, their mind isn't strong, their mind isn't right. So when the hard times come, what do they do, man? They Maybe they turn to substance, maybe Unfortunately, they might unalive themselves or whatever the case may be, but mental, man. Make sure in 2024, guys, you keep your mental sharp best you can. If you need somebody to talk to, I'm here. My email, I'll post it. Hit me up, yo PJD on IG, TikTok, YouTube, anywhere. I'll talk to you. Somebody talk to me, man. We gotta help each other as men. Talk to other men before you talk to a woman, man. A man that's been through what you're going through is not going to judge you the same as a woman may. Not saying all women will, but a lot of women may. And once they do judge you and you have these conversations, they never going to look at you the same, dog. Trust me. But trust me on that. I could keep going about this topic all day, but I'm gonna leave it right here. And um, I'll be back soon so we can talk some more, fellas. Ladies, if you watch, it's all love, but I'm gonna just keep it real for the dogs. All right? Till next time, show PJD reacts. We out.